Hi everyone and welcome to codingjust.com. As from this video, I am starting a new series of AdMob Airs with Android and in this series, I will show you how you can configure AdMob in your Android application and how you can display different kinds of uh, different types of uh, ads in your Android application. So first of all, you need to create a new Android project or if you have an existing Android project, so don't worry, I will show you from the scratch. First of all, uh, we will go to the browser and I will put this link in the description and this is the official documentation for Google AdMob okay so first of all as you can see we have to configure our app and the first step is we need to confirm uh, if we have this Google and Maven Central in, uh, in our Android project so I will go back to my Android studio and uh, if you are using the new version of Android studio so you will you are <coughs> Gradle file will be setting dot Gradle, and as you can see, we have Google and Maven Central on the both uh, in the both repositories. Okay, so I will just simply close it, and now we need to uh, copy this dependency and go back to the Android project and go to the build or Gradle, and below here we need to paste this dependency. Okay, sorry, I need to copy it again from here. We'll come back to my Android project and I will paste it here. Okay, and in this series, uh, I will be loading ads uh, with test ad ID. So I need to change this example to my uh, domain name or anything you want. Okay, so I will just simply type coding this dot admob ads. Okay, so if you are using a example uh, example in your application ID, so you just need to rename it to anything you want. Okay, I will just simply click on sync now. okay the sync is completed and now we will close this and uh, after this we need to uh, make some changes in our manifest file so first of all i need to use permission for internet okay and the second thing if i go back to my documentation as you can see here we need to add this metadata okay uh, so first of all i will just simply copy this admob app id and this is a sample or testing id i will go back to my project and i will put this id in the strings.xml okay so here i will create a new string new string and i will name it admob app id okay and I will paste ID here so now I will just simply copy this metadata from here and we'll go back to the Android and make sure you add the metadata before this application uh, closing take okay so I will just simply paste it and here we will replace this ID with our ID okay so if you have the real ID of your AirMob app ID, so you can use that ID. I'm using the test ID because I don't have the real AirMob IDs right now. Okay, so we will just simply type AirMob app ID. Okay, and now we will close this file. And if I go back to my documentation, so here as you can see, we need to initialize the AirMob uh, mobile ads are initialized. So this is my main activity and uh, if i show you the xml file so i have a button in my main activity load banner ad and when we click on this button we will go back we will sorry not go back we will uh, come to this activity banner ad activity and in this activity we will show our ad okay so what i will do i will create a function here in my main activity private void private void init Init add mob okay so we will initialize our mobile ads here and I will just simply copy this and I will paste it here okay and we need to import these uh, imports by alt enter simply type alt enter and we will import it okay and this is the on each initialization complete method so i will just simply show a toast to check if the initialization is completed or not okay so i will just add a tag here okay i will name it add mob and on initialization complete okay and simply annotate this with non null okay and before this button click i will just simply call this uh, method and now it this method will uh, win our app uh, launch for the first time or the main activity is launched so it will initialize the add mob okay 
and now we will uh, we will go to our banner ad activity and uh, here as you can see I select an ad for format so i will just simply click the banner ad and in the upcoming videos i will uh, show how to implement this interstitial ad uh, native ad and rewarded ads okay so first of all we will go for the uh, banner ad and this is the xml for our banner ad and you just need to copy this from here and go to your project and i will just simply go to my xml of second activity and i will paste it here okay so as you can see uh, i need to add the constraint so i will just simply constrain it to, to bottom okay and to start and end and here i will make it self closing tag and as you can see from here we can uh, we can change the add size so in simply if i add smart with this when smart underscore banner so it will be a large banner okay and uh, i will leave as it is and uh, okay so we are done with our xml file and this is the id okay you you need to copy this id or cut this id and we will paste this id in the strings.xml so if if you want this add or uh, this add id in another activity so you can access it from string.xml okay i will name it add mob banner id okay and i will paste it here now i will go back to the xml file and here i need to add the add string add more banner id okay we are good to go and now i will uh, come to this java file of banner add activity and if i go back to the documentation so here as you can see we can uh, request and load add by using these line okay so in this uh, project i am using the view binding okay and here i will just simply create a method private void load banner add okay and inside this if i go to my documentation as you can see here i will just simply uh, copy this add request okay add request sorry and i will paste it here and i will make the imports add request and here by using the binding i will just simply access my add view dot add view load add and i will simply pass the add request okay and uh, if i show you here we can also add a set add listener to listen for these callbacks on add click on add close okay so just simply call the binding dot add view dot set add listener new and we we will implement the on add loaded and on add fed okay you can implement all these if you want i will uh, just uh, select these two and uh, i will just simply copy the locket message from here and i will add it here like this and uh, i will just simply type error and plus load error okay and i will paste it here and i will just simply on add add load it okay now what we will do we will just simply call this method here and this method will load our banner add okay so now if i run my application okay guys so our application is running and i will just simply copy this add mob and i will paste it here and as you can see on initialization complete so it means that our add mob is initialized uh, successfully now what i will do i will click on this load banner add it will go to the another activity and the add will appear here okay as you can see this is our banner ad and this is uh, the banner ad is loaded so that's how you can implement uh, AdMob in your android application and that's how you can show or display a banner ad in your android application so that's it for this video guys and in the next video i will show you how you can implement uh, an interstitial ad in your android application so if you like this video please share this video with your friends and also make sure you are subscribed to my channel and the bill notification option is on so you won't miss the upcoming videos.